Previously on Hey There Dave here. It's my favorite restaurant in Dallas. I really don't get hangovers from wine. I do get kind of flush and red caused by the histamine in the wine. If I drink wine, I get a headache, especially red wine, a pretty terrible headache. And supposedly the wine wand removes that from the wine. This is essentially our control. We're going to see how I flush. We're going to see how Megan feels in the morning after drinking wine all night. And then we're going to do it all over again. Hi everybody, it is almost 7 a.m. and I'm walking to the park to go jump rope. Last night we ate at Pet from the Beast and Dave and I shared a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. And this morning, nose was a little runny um, and sniffly, but I don't know if that's due to allergies or the wine. I was maybe a little more tired than usual from a heavy dinner and drinking. All right, time to work out, bye-bye. So tonight we're testing this product. This is the Pure Wine Wand. You stir your wine with it and it supposedly takes all the histamine and sulfite out of the wine. All the stuff that gives you headaches and congestion and redness. I am very curious to see if this has any kind of positive effect. We're putting this to the test. What? You have to drink <laughs> this. <your> own bottle. <laughs> because okay. this is, no, I'll pour it for you. Oh. Part of the scientific test that we're doing today is we have to have the exact same wine that we had yesterday. The only difference is we're stirring with the wine wand. Get the camera. Now the instructions say you're to stir, then let soak for at least three minutes. This is the wine wand. Ding! So it's this kind of cloth material with the powder inside. Put it in the wine, and you give it a stir. And it absorbs the histamine and the sulfites. I'm gonna let you do your stirring. That's interesting. I hadn't seen that. So we met with the founder and CEO on Dumb Money, and they're basically looking for a funding round to help ramp up production. Every time they make a batch of these, they completely sell out, so they have kind of a inventory problem. We're not gonna kill it in this one. It's not gonna be a 10Xer, but it does seem like a good conservative cash flow investment. It's supposed to not change the flavor of the wine. It's not adding anything to the wine. It's just a, it's basically a chemical engineer who came up with this stuff that absorbs. It's kind of like a sponge for histamine. And so I don't know exactly how it works, but it supposedly takes the bad stuff out and doesn't affect the flavor. Three whole minutes. Mm, that's ridiculous. And the longer you stir, the more effective it is. Mm. You want to introduce <laughs> yeah. your coworker? This is my friend Amber. Hi, I'm Amber. And she's a she's a good wine drinker as well. But she's having champagne. Yes because she's almost a licensed clinical social worker. Yay! What? Yay! Would you like to try a wine wand in your champagne? I don't know what effects it will have. I'm game. You say you've heard of this before? Mm-hmm. I saw it at the store. They've sold four million of them. Really? Yeah, and they're I looking for I think I saw it like the goodies. Not goodies, the um, wine. Total Wine has yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Goody Goody, I think, has it. They're, they're pretty much everywhere. And it's on Amazon. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, I don't oh, know wow. about that. Now, you may be making your champagne flat. <laughs> we'll have to see what this does. I can't tell the taste difference. Taste-wise, you don't you don't taste anything different? No, not at all. Tastes like a nice, crisp Sauv Blanc. How does it taste? It still tastes good. Is it flat? You didn't use all the bubbles, did you? I don't think so. Okay, good. Yay. So we have a verdict on test number one, whether it affects the flavor of the wine and it does not affect the flavor of the wine. Trudel. So how about you? Have you tried this product? Does it work for you? Let me know down in the comments. Do you have maybe another way to prevent the side effects of wine? Let me know in the comments. Three minutes is an incredibly long time to stir your wine before you drink it. I'm going on two minutes now and I'm getting really thirsty. I really don't see myself doing this every time I want to have wine. But they do have another version of this product that is essentially like a wine pourer. Couldn't possibly be as effective because it's not exposing the wine to the filter particles as much, but it seems way more practical for everyday use. Taste test time. Oh, and this is my amount of redness before I've had any wine. Just to kind of level set with a baseline there. I really don't taste any difference with this one. The red wine I tried this with a few days ago did seem to maybe open up a little bit more, whatever that means, but this tastes about the same as yesterday.
I are one bottle in now, and uh, let's do a little redness check. The lighting in here is difficult. Davey, we need a refill. Thanks, Dave. Have blanc and a bubbly, please. Poncho. <laughs> That's just how professional I was. Yes, he was so good. That was a ton of fun. Are you saying that my service tonight hasn't been as good as no, you expect? No, you're I see a full you glass. You do, you're doing all right. Do you feel? drink? That's your second bottle. Oh, really? Oh, well. <laughs> Tell if I'm more or less red than I was yesterday. Well, you're wearing a red shirt, so that makes it even harder. See, next to the natural light, it doesn't look as red. I think it's just the lighting in here was misleading. I think you look lovely. I think you're less red. Okay, let me know when you're ready for a re-refill. I'm on bartender duty today. It's funny how whenever Megan has people over, I'm in charge of the bar. I have one observation about this wine wand. It's not feasible to stir your wine for three minutes. It's just not practical to pour yourself a glass of wine and then have to stir it for three minutes. I think I want to try the kind that you just pour right through it. Here's the problem with that. It's like $10 for a one-time use single bottle. A lot of times your wine is less than $10. Number one, I can't imagine wanting to do it with an expensive bottle of wine because what if it does change the flavor slightly? And number two, if your $8 bottle of wine has a $10 filter, that doesn't seem practical. But the $10 option would be way easier than this. I don't think I would ever do this again. But they say they have like, the repeat customers are a huge business for them. So I guess people who need this, use this. It's a like four and a half star Amazon product and something like their average customer is like a three or four times repeat buyer. Don't mind me, I'm just talking to myself over here. Has that been three minutes? The house lighting is really not forgiving when it comes to red skin tone. And red shirts. And red shirts. I'm not feeling any different than last night's wine. Like, I feel like I might actually be more red, but I've had more wine. You feel I like maybe your feel sinuses are less congested? I can maybe feel a small sensation in my sinuses. So no sneezing. Last night you had a major sneeze attack. <laughs> I sneezed three times. <laughs> Can you breathe clearly? Yes. Is that fairly consistent with your normal state? Mm -hmm. I have excellent lung capacity. My Fitbit says I'm in like the very good to excellent category. But what about when you're drinking wine? Are you still very good to excellent? I believe so. Have you felt anything better about using the wine wand? I've drank more wine tonight and I feel just as good. And I've had zero water and I'm not like, ah. Would you say that this makes you want to drink more wine? Yeah. Yes, it does. The thing I really because have I a problem with. I feel better about it. I'm yeah. like, oh, this is better. It's, not it's so a better healthy. for you. Yes, it's the better for you health trend. It would be like, yes, yeah. uh, a cauliflower pizza. I can eat three pizzas instead of one. And probably but no, most that's people, not good for you. No, probably many people I know will be getting wine wands. I think the wine wand, which they come in a five pack, and technically a bottle of wine has five glasses in it, so it's designed to be a single bottle per mm. pack. You're still adding ten dollars to the cost of a bottle of wine. We're standing next to the reddest light in the house, by the way. Um, light color. No, I have a hiccup, so maybe it's not working. Well, it didn't take the alcohol out of the wine. It only took the histamines and sulfites. I have to wake up early to go see Elsa. Are you waking up extra early? Oh, that'll be a good test because you woke up extra early this morning too. Now I don't know if I sign off now or after, but before we show that, I'm going to remind you that if you liked this video, you know what to do like buttons all over the place. So if you haven't yet subscribed on YouTube, do that first. Then also know that if YouTube's not your go-to place for video, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all the places. Follow, like, share, subscribe. Do you have anything to add? So embarrassing. It's the morning after the big celebratory wine drinking with Amber and woke up feeling not my best actually. At three in the morning, uh, my stomach hurt. So I had to get up and drink some water. Um, I don't really know if the wine ones helped a whole lot. Some flaws in the research design in that yesterday we drank way more than we did a couple of days ago and I had no food with the wine. Perhaps the wine one kept me from being 
like super sick, but not my best, but also drank too much. And I think that's more of the moral of the story. So there you go.